It's very important to understand that PowerShell provides only a single pipeline when you run a script. For example, if I run get process, I hit enter, that's a pipeline. And so I get this you know, particular table output that I'm quite used to seeing. If I then run get service, that's another pipeline, and I get that table of information, which I'm, I'm quite accustomed to. If we go into a script, though, and create a script that runs get process and then get service, we're going to get very, very different results. Let me save this. Uh, we'll just create a simple file called test.ps1. When I run test, that initial output of processes was, well, it's one I expected, but these services are all different. That's because within the script, my processes are being placed into the one pipeline that this script gets. Then my services are being placed into that same pipeline. When PowerShell sees the first object in the pipeline, it says that's a process. I, I know how to format that. Here we go. And so it constructs the table that we're used to seeing. And then it gets here and says, oh, wait a minute, we, we, we changed. Different type of thing. I, I, I don't know what to do. I, I can't start a whole new table. And we've kind of just run into a limitation of PowerShell's formatting system. It's really only intended to work with one type of object at a time. By giving it two types of objects in the same pipeline, we've kind of confused it. You can simulate that same result here in the shell by running the first command, and then in that same pipeline, running the second command. When I hit enter, I get one pipeline that contains two types of objects. So just be careful of that. As you create scripts, think of keeping everything to one type of object. Every script should produce one kind of output for its single pipeline.